today I'm going to have a Sinigan burrito. Sinigan burrito. Du, 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 du. It is really cool and interesting to see how this restaurant takes Filipino ingredients, traditional Filipino dishes, and packs it into a Mexican food framework. Very famous for. Look at this. Oh yeah, that is really good. Damn, that's good. We have arrived with the star of the show, which is the Sinigang burrito. burrito. This is the answer to your lifelong dream of. <laughs> 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 this is absolutely to die for. Welcome to the heart of Quezon City. Today I am in Quezon City with a few friends exploring what QC has to offer when it comes to street food and unique food concepts. Well, today I'm coming to try a restaurant that kind of brings together Filipino flavors and Mexican food. And in key with that today, I'm going to have a Sinigan burrito. I am so, so excited for it. By the way, guys, today's vlog is part of a multi-vlog series of me exploring more of Quezon City. I know Quezon City is such a big part of Metro Manila, especially when it comes to food and beverage. So I thought today I would come out with some locals that really, really know the area and explore what this neighborhood has to offer. Our first stop is Tadeo, Filipino Mexican comfort food. And as I said, we're gonna try the Sinigan Burrito. Let's go. Sinigan Burrito. Du, 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 du. <laughs> Lester. Tenderloin Yes. Do they have drinks here? They have uh, beer. They have beer. I think. I think. Yeah. I think San Miguel is is like pretty good right now. It's quite hot. <laughs> pale, pale. Oh, always pale. Always pale. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right, let's. So, what are we having? What are we having? <laughs> We're having the sisig taco, the shrimp taco, the steak taco, and then two off menu items: sin, uh, sinug, sinuglao and kinilao taco. Okay. 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 So, and, and we're gonna have the Sinigan burrito as well, yes, which yes, is like yes, the yes. famous thing to have at this restaurant, right? Yes, <laughs> yeah. It is really cool and interesting to see how this restaurant takes Filipino ingredients, traditional Filipino dishes and packs it into a Mexican food framework. Uh, I can't wait to try it, but the menu sounds super, super interesting. And I love it because it's a small little local spot hidden tucked away in the streets of Quezon City and I think it's mainly locals that also come to this restaurant so it's kind of like a secret place and you have to ask for the secret menu as well. Alright, cheers Lester. Cheers. Uh, super beneficial to have a beer because it is quite hot yeah, today. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so what is the first dish that we have here? These are steak tacos, right? Yes. Oh. Garlic sauce, hot sauce, salsa bread. Very nice. So that's the salsa verde, right? Yeah. All right, let me get my taco ready with some of this salsa verde, which this restaurant is also very famous for. Look at this beautiful taco. Mm. Oh yeah, that is really good. Bright flavors, you got that umami from the steak. And then you got, I think there's like pickles in here. Is it pickled onions? I think so. Yeah. It's because so good. It's based on, I, I think, the Filipino dish of bistec. Mm. I don't know if you've had bistec Tagalog. Yeah, I have. Yeah. yeah. So it's really cool. This restaurant really pairs um, traditional Filipino dishes like bistec Tagalog into a Mexican tortilla wrapper, right? <laughs> <laughs> they still care about what they put out, right? Yeah. I mean, they played it nicely. They wipe like extra stuff. I really, I, I really, um, I have a lot of respect for like restaurants that opened just before the pandemic mm -hmm. and are still going strong, still keeping up the quality of the food. It's so important. We didn't change it. So you know, if you're if you're a foodie yourself, then I think now I'm gonna say post pandemic. We're still in the pandemic, but it's kind of getting to a point where we're post pandemic again. It's really important that you support your local restaurateurs, your bars, your coffee shops, um, just because those that, that pushed through the pandemic and didn't have to shut down really need so much support now, especially coming out of this. So yeah, a lot of respect for places like this. So I'm gonna have a mix of the spicy sauce and I'm gonna go in with salsa verde because it was so good. Oh, 
nice look at that taco all right so this is a really really nicely filled taco <clears throat> damn that's good wow that is so good crunchy spicy the tender shrimp in there so delicious mm. so what is this a sinuclao tostada and they make their own tostada Everything, wow. Everything's made in-house, right? Yes. Even all the garden. That's incredible. Next up we have a sisik taco, which also looks incredible. Pickled cucumber, nicely garnished, pickled red onion in there. And everything is made in-house, which is so, so incredible. Okay, this taco looks so, so interesting. What do I... Look at this, guys. Hmm? Oh, wow. That is so good. Crunchy. A touch of sweetness. Again, such a lovely, creamy, decadent dish. The crispy kong kong tastes so, so good in there. I gotta brighten this up with a little bit of calamansi. Mm. Okay, next up we have these uh, pork tostadas. Really delicious, delicious looking dish. And I'm getting pretty, pretty full already, but not too full to devour these dishes. I'm gonna get some of this delicious salsa verde on there again because I absolutely love it. It's acidic, it's fresh, it's bright, and it just cuts through the richness of all these tacos. Oh yeah, that is so good. We have arrived with the star of the show, which is the Sinigang burrito. burrito. Yes. Okay, please tell me about this dish. Like, how did you discover this? Is this is the answer to your... I know Ula. Yeah, because yeah, you've never eaten sinigang with rice. And this is uh, just the answer to your uh, lifelong dream. Of <laughs> <laughs> so this is just sinigang and they've stuffed it into a burrito basically. So Amazing. you have pork in there, some veggies in there, and this is honey patis. It sounds so simple, but yeah, it turns out to be pretty amazing <laughs> okay so I've been excited for this already all day um, so we have here some spicy honey I guess honey patties honey patties okay fish so that's like fish honey. sauce with honey yeah. let me drizzle some of this over the burrito itself so what kind of protein do we have in here it's like chicken pork. fish pork. pork pork okay unwrap this beauty and then I guess there's nothing left but to just jump into this Mm. Oh yeah, mm. that is. Is any going enough for you? That is so rich, so sour, so satisfying with the rice that just soaks up all of those flavors, and then the fish sauce gives it that saltiness, that umami. <laughs> this is absolutely to die for. Encore, which is the uh, kinilau tostada, which is just fish and. Oh, what do we have here on top here? What is that? Is that also beetroot? Okay. Let's give this a try. Oh yeah. Good. That's really nice. It's very fresh, bright, spicy, citrusy, with a touch of vinegar. Okay guys, this place, Tadeo, 10 out of 10 points. Definitely have to visit it. If you come to QC to visit a few of the spots that I showed you guys today, this has to be on your list. It's tucked away in one of the side roads. Uh, it's really good. And I love the name because it kind of reminds me of SpongeBob. You know, Tadeo, the squid. <laughs> if you guys enjoyed today's vlog, be sure to give this video a thumbs up. Let me know if you plan on visiting this place. Subscribe if you're new around here and I will see you guys tomorrow. Same time, same place. Remember to stay awesome, be positive and make it happen. Bye-bye.